I've got some vertex bags for you guys. What's going on everyone? My name is Talon Sai and you are watching Sunday Gun Day. I hope you are all having a great Sunday so far. We have a pretty cool video for you guys today and we're gonna kick it off with a giveaway right from the top. We'll just grab whatever is random on the top. Here we have a all black everything Vertex last call pack. I'm gonna be covering in this bag in the video. To win this exact bag right here, all you have to do is one, be subscribed to this channel, two, like this video, and three, leave a comment down below. As you can see, I have a ton of bags to give away because I'm not using like 30 bags, so I'm gonna be giving them away throughout this video. I'll pick a different winner for all of these bags by next Sunday, and I will announce all of those winners over on Instagram. Follow me over there because a lot of these bags will also be given away over there. More about that later. Now today's video is going to be answering a massive question that I see asked all the time in any Vertex bag video that I've ever done. People often want to know, will X gun fit in X bag? And I'm going to answer hopefully all of those questions in one swoop today. So let me organize these bags real quick into the older versions and then I have the entire new color line here as well so you will get to see some samples of what is available for pre-order right now and the entire new color line is also shipping. So if you see something that you like throughout this video, go down and check out their website in the description down below. You can use code TALENTSI for 25% off anything that Vertex makes. So any bags that you see here, any kind of shirts, gloves, gloves, pants, you name it. If you use that code at checkout, you can save a bunch of money. So we'll start with a giveaway pile, I guess. This one has already been claimed by one of you out there, so I'll set that one aside. The rest of the bags sitting here all have firearms inside of them. So what I did was I took all of the most popular bags and basically anything that I have available in front of me today, and I figured out the max size of firearm that I could fit in each respective bag. Some of these are actually pretty surprising, so if you guys wanna sort of play along, you can guess what type of gun I'm gonna pull out of the bag before I actually do so. And then I will leave sort of the specifications from my perspective down in the description below. I'll leave the bag name and then the max length of gun that I could fit inside. So we're gonna go from, I guess, smallest to largest. Let's start right here with a new color line of the Tourist Sling. So this is a bag that I don't have an actual dedicated review of on my channel. However, it is pretty cool and I have used it before, mainly for handguns. Obviously, you're really only gonna be able to fit a handgun inside of a bag like this. It can be a sling, you can throw it over your shoulder, but also if you fill this thing with any kind of ballistic plates, maybe like some soft armor or even some hard armor plates might fit in here. This then has the functionality to turn into basically like a makeshift plate carrier. When you open this thing up, it will give you a little bit more protection. You can cinch it around and it even has like a little waist strap here so you can have this thing riding in front of you. And that is obviously what these bags are all about. So what gun do you think is in the Vertex Taurus Sling? Obviously you can fit quite a bit in there and I reach for one of the largest pistols that I have. And right here we have a Silencer Co. Maxim 9. Now the way I measured this one is basically from the top tip of the barrel to the back of the grip here. This is a large gun, it measures almost exactly 12 inches or one foot and as you can see, if I lay it across the bag there, it is almost the perfect fit. Now of course you could throw mags and other accessories, whatever else you see fit inside of this bag. Maybe you could put some like medical stuff in the front here. And it seems to me like 12 inches is about the max, maybe give or take an inch. You might be able to fit something a tiny bit longer in there. but. Yeah, this one seemed to be the most appropriate. Now that I think of it, these Desert Eagles in 50 AE are also pretty large. So there you go, you can fit not one, but two 50 AE Desert Eagles in the Taurus sling. And now moving into the next bag, right here I have the Transit Sling. This is actually a sling bag that I've used pretty frequently. You may have seen it in a previous video. I don't off-body carry a whole lot anymore, 
but this is how this thing rides right here. It's a nice and comfortable bag, super low profile, and then it has the quick access tab over here that you can sling it around to the front. Of course, if you have body armor in here, you get that protection. Now guess what I have in this bag. If you guessed that there was a kel Sub 2000 in here, then you would be correct. So the Sub 2000 when folded is coming in at just about 17 inches and I also have another transit sling right here in the new colorway to show you guys a little bit better. So that thing fits nice and snug in here. Deployment might be a little bit difficult, something you might have to train with. This next bag is one that probably surprised me the most out of all of these. This is obviously a very small bag and I guess I never really realized how small the gun in here actually gets. So same thing as the other transit sling, this is just a simple sling bag with the colorways here. It gives you more of a sort of a gray man appearance. It actually puffs out quite a bit so you can fit a lot of stuff in here and pack it out or sort of smush it down like that. It really doesn't look like there's anything in here. So I'll give you guys a second to guess and I'm gonna say that most of you were wrong on this one. I didn't really realize this, but I can fit a whole CZ Scorpion in here. This is the Evo 3 S1 with the SB TAC folding brace on here and I guess I just really never realized how small this gun actually got. It definitely is a small package but the ergos are good so if you decide you want to carry around a PCC and you want to have it in the smallest bag possible this is coming in at 17 inches when folded up. It's also not super thick but this thing also has that little expansion compartment here. It gives you about two inches compared to the older bags and this this thing fits in here. It's very snug, but it does zip up all the way. There is of course room for other magazines and things like that in there. And there you go. Never would have thought that you could carry a scorpion in such a small package like this. Next up we have the Dead Letter. This is a bag that I have not really used personally. However, if I was still working in an office environment, I guarantee you I would absolutely be using this as a laptop bag. And as you will see here in a second, you can fit a lot more than a laptop in here. Again, with a pretty cool colorway, this is definitely office friendly. You really don't suspect anything about it and you can keep your personal protection in here. It's got really nice admin pockets and everything. I actually really like this bag. Now, can you guess what is in the dead letter sling? If you guessed Chris Vector, then you would be correct. So this is the Vector in the pistol version. I'm using the Chris folding brace adapter on here and their SB tactical brace. I feel like this gun fits perfectly in a bag like this because it's kind of square and bulky and it just kind of fits this perfectly. It's definitely not the slimmest gun ever, but it seems to be no problem fitting inside of this bag and Fits really nicely, actually. If you wanted something that was very quick to deploy, I would absolutely recommend this bag right here because you can carry it over your shoulder like you would any other bag. And when you open this up, it's just a nice big pouch that is very easy to pull something from. This Vector is coming in at 18 inches folded and it seems like you have about uh, an inch or two on there for a little bit of a wiggle room. I would say you could probably fit something roughly 19, maybe 20 inches in there, but something 18 inches is very easy to deploy. So that is the dead letter. Let's move on to my personal favorite Vertex bag. And this is actually the one that I use on a regular basis right here. This is the EDC Ready Pack. So this of course is in the black multi-cam variant. I use this bag for literally everything. If you want to check out my EDC loadout video, it's not really up to date, but you can find it up there. I'll typically keep my computer and chargers, other sorts of EDC items, even medical stuff if I'm going up to the range. I use this bag for literally everything and I can't say enough good things about it. Now, I typically don't carry what's in this bag with me full time, however. We're testing it out for the video, so what length gun can fit in here and what do you think is in here? Now for this one, if you said the CMMG Banshee in nine millimeter, then you would be correct. This thing is coming in at 19 inches overall when that brace is completely collapsed. If I extend this out even a little bit, maybe, there we go, like another inch or two. There's still actually some room on here, so I guess you could say that probably something that's about 21 inches can fit in here before it starts printing. There you can sort of 
see the barrel at the top of the bag. So 19 to 20, 21 inches seems to fit perfectly. With a platform like this in a bag this big, you can actually fit a ton of other things in here. If I had the desire to, I probably could carry this with me every single day in this backpack. However, that's not really my style. So along with the EDC Ready Pack, you have something very similar in size. This one you've definitely seen on the channel before. And that is the commuter sling. I have this one in all black everything because this is another bag that I use. You will notice that all of the bags that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis, they're typically black. But they do have a ton of cool colorways in these new models as well. So here's how this thing rides. Pretty low profile and compact on there. It honestly really doesn't look like there's anything in here, maybe a laptop or something similar. And if I sling this thing around to my front, I get that full coverage protection again. And guess what I have in here? If you said an IWI Galil Ace pistol, then you would be correct. So this thing here when folded up is also coming in at 19 inches. You can buy these things just like this. It was not modified at all. And this is actually a perfect fit for a bag like this. I would say that this is right along the lines of that dead letter with the vector in it. It is actually very easy to deploy. I haven't actually done any videos of deploying an SDR or a pistol like this from a bag, at least not of this caliber. So maybe we'll do that in the future. Now with this sling, you might have like an extra inch or two, but it's gonna be pretty tight. If I push the pistol grip all the way to the bottom of the bag here, looks like I got maybe an extra inch on the back there. So I'm gonna say around 19 to 20 inches overall. Now let's take a quick break to do another giveaway. Let's actually give away this dead letter now. This one actually is still new and has the tags on it. Since we already gave one away in the comments, let's give this one away over on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, make sure you do that. Find the photo of all of these bags with their respective guns on top of them. Like that photo and tag two people in the comments down below. Let's actually, uh, let's throw another one into the mix. Let's give away both of these bags right here. So as long as you're following me over on Instagram, you like and tag two friends in that photo, I will pick two of you and you'll either get the dead letter or the tourist sling. So there we go, three bags down and we got a few more to give away. Maybe we'll give away some of these new colorways. Moving on to the three larger packs. This one right here is the last call. It's not super large. And this is in one of their new colorways as well for the springtime. It's got this sort of rubberized material on here coming in red. This bag is actually super comfortable. It's not one that I've used personally a whole lot, but the way the top of this bag opens allows it to pack out pretty well. So because of this flap, can you guess what is in here? No printing at all. And we have the Noveski N4 PDW or the Ghetto Blaster. This thing when completely folded up is coming in at 20 inches from the back of the stock to the tip of the muzzle device. I can probably actually extend the stock out a little bit because of the way that this thing sort of flips over on the top. That just added quite a bit of inches in length to this and doesn't conceal all that well. However, if you use these straps to fasten the top down, you'd get away with a little bit more. I would say anything from the 20 inch to possibly 22 inch mark should be pretty good with the last call pack right here. Let me show you guys the inside of this too because it's massive in there. You can also open up the front pouch here and then you have of course all of the Velcro, the helmet style loops in there. And this is a pretty cool bag if you are into the Herschel style backpacks. So that is that. This is one PDW that I would probably actually use. Now moving on to <laughs> this colorway right here, the Baby Yoda Pack. Although I haven't used this bag personally, this is the Gamut and I have this older one right over here, which I actually use, but I much prefer this newer one and even the colorway on this one. I'm a big fan of this. It's brown with this sort of like tropic or OD green green all over it. If I were to carry any other bag other than my EDC Ready Pack, this would probably be my next recommendation because it's a little bit bigger and you can fit things a little bit bigger inside of it. You got some more pockets and just more room overall. This has some really nice material on it, massive grab handle on the front. And the gun that I have in here is much bigger than the one that I had in the EDC Ready Pack. So can you guess what it is? And if you guessed a 10 and a half inch 
folding AR pistol, then you would be correct. So this is a custom TS Panda Tactical build that I put together a while ago. You can find a video on this gun on the channel somewhere. And since that video, I've also added this Sylvan Arms folding adapter on here, very similar to the LawTac folder. However, it's a lot cheaper. When this thing is folded up all the way out here in the front of the muzzle device, all the way to the back of this folding adapter, it's coming in at about 21 and a half inches. This gamut swallows this gun up perfectly. I would say you might be able to get an extra like inch or a half inch out of there. So if the rifle that you're trying to put in here is coming in at like 22 inches, you might be okay. But so far this 21 and a half inch overall length is perfect for the gamut. And that brings us to the final bag for today. I actually forget what I put in this one, and this is the Gamut Checkpoint. So here, if we compare this to the regular Gamut, they are about the same size. However, they pack out just a little bit differently. This is sort of like a teardrop shape. So the top of the pack gets a little bit wider and it just packs out differently. There you go. Sort of looks like a teardrop, I guess. This thing is also super comfortable. I have used this pack for a few days just to kind of get a feel for it. And for my personal needs, it's just a little bit too big. However, if you want to use it to carry a PDW or just take it to the range with you, then this is definitely a great option. I can't even think of what I put in here now. Yeah, I literally don't remember. So again, I'm using the main compartment of this bag and we have, oh yeah, I just did a video on this one. In the Gamut Checkpoint, I have the Battle Arms Development Zyphos 9. This is one of the highest quality AR9s out there with the billet receiver set. This thing is coming in at 23 inches overall from the tip of the muzzle device all the way to the back of the SBA3 there. And this checkpoint swallows it up nicely. I think if the gun was sort of on the fence with fitting in the Gamut, I believe the Gamut Checkpoint would just be a little bit better. It might give you a little bit more room. And that 23 inches brings you right about to the top of the bag here. So that is all of the bags that I have here. We're gonna have an honorable mention as well, the Commuter XL. If you like the idea of a sling bag like the regular Commuter here, they also have the XL, which is quite a bit longer. And if you have a gun that will not fit in something like the Gamut Checkpoint, then you could go for the Commuter XL. That's almost bordering on the verge of rifle bag in my opinion, but it has a good inside measurement being able to hold something up to 27 inches. With a lot of the laws going around today, 26 inches overall is sort of a sweet zone for a lot of different guns. So the Commuter XL should swallow up anything like that, no problem with that internal capacity of 27 inches. So I know that was a ton of information to take in, but hopefully this answered some of your questions out there. If you want to know if your length of gun will fit in a certain bag, just rewatch the video or check out all of the details in the description down below. You can also check out their website and use my code TALENTSI for 25% off any orders. And you can also find more detailed dimensions on Vertex's website as well. Now for the rest of these bags, since I'm not gonna use them all, let's actually give away some of the new color line to the people over on Patreon. I can't thank you guys enough for supporting the channel. So if you are already supporting the channel over on Patreon, I'm basically going to be giving away the rest of these bags to you guys over there. I have about like, I don't know, six to 10 more bags or something like that to give away to you guys. So you can find all that information over on the Patreon exclusive Discord. So that is all that I had for today. If you guys have any questions on the Vertex line, let me know in the comments down below. If this video helped you out at all, I'd appreciate if you left a like on it. And that is going to be all. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.